About a month ago, I made a video talking about a content creator called Pie, who mainly makes Super Mario 64 Machinima and other Mario-related comedy skits. Thank you. Pizza. No. Pizza. No. Pizza. No. In that video, I go over a Google Doc that was made by some people that are close to him, talking about allegations made against him of him being a PDF file and having explicit material containing minors. In the months since that document was released, Pie has been silent, but a new Google Doc has released today, and I want to go over what's inside. So here on Twitter, we have Hushmush, who is the person who released the last Google Doc, saying, Hello, you may have been here for the past two expose documents on Pie. I'm here today to release a third document showing Pie." people as young as 12 years old and being a horrible person. Do not support Pie. And he links to another Google Doc here. Now I'm going to open it up here and show you guys, but it is 72 pages long, so I'm just going to briefly go over the important points and stuff that I can actually show on YouTube, but I will link the whole document in the description of the video. Now the first page here is basically just showing all the trigger warnings, which there are a lot of, so if you're sensitive to any of this type of content, I would recommend you click away or skip through this video and just watch the parts you want. At the end, it says, once again, note that Pie has multiple Discord accounts and goes by multiple names on different platforms, such as Pie, Inactive, Lucas, Lucas with four S's, Pie Gaming, and Lucas with a heart. And they're all the same person. This is similar to what they said in the last document. He has like five or six usernames across, so everything shown here under any of those names is him. Now, it lists this out here on page two, which I'm actually very grateful that they did. It says, Pie is 18 years old. He is turning 19 in April. Victim 1 and Victim 2 from Document 2, it shows their ages, and it says that those victims were either blackmailed or stalked by Pie. Those are the ones that we went over in the last video. Victim 1 from this document was 12 when they first started talking to Pie. Victim 2 was 14, Victim 3 was 12, and Victim 4 was 16. So that's six victims total throughout the last document and this one. Now, the first victim that they talk about in this document here is a new one that we have not discussed yet. It says, when Pie was 17, he met a 12-year-old on Roblox. They got into a relationship. Their relationship quickly turned sexual and continued well after Pie turned 18 and she was 13. On February 17th, after the second document was released, Pie blocked her and made sure to delete every single message he sent her on Discord, which is why in these screenshots it looks like she's talking to herself. And in these screenshots, we can see some clearly sexual talk, uh, some images that are thankfully blurred out. Um, and then we have the victim saying he was 17 and 18 when we dated and that they broke up. But we can see the dates that it went from 2022 to 2023 to 2024. So it, obviously it went until he was 18 and older. There's also a link to a video showing a year's worth of Discord DMs between Ouija Pie and the 12 year old. And they linked that here. Uh, I have the video up, as you can see, um, and it just has scrolling conversations that goes on for a year plus that this video is a minute and 42 seconds long and it's just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling so if you if you want to see all this and pause it and look at these messages it's linked in the description uh, below are screenshots of Ouija Pie talking to the same 12 year old and sending explicit messages to her on a different account uh, I will not be showing these because they are explicit so again <laughs> if, if, if you want to see this in full in the description. And then they have text messages between the two of them, which were not deleted on either side, so they are the full conversation. You can see them, them chatting. There's a lot of these, and these, again, obviously sexual. There's also a link to audio messages of him sending her, uh, like, like, kissy sounds and like just flirting with her i it's it's very cringy so that one I, even if you're looking at this document i'd advise not to listen to that now if we remember correctly from the last document and the last video i made the all of these were you know allegations it's all like one side of this story but the one thing that was incredibly damning was ouija pie distributing explicit material containing minors and we have more of that, unfortunately, here. So according to this victim, Pie gifted the 13-year-old Discord Nitro purely so that she could send him nudes. 
Ouija Pie took the nudes that she sent and put them in a folder that he has, which includes other photos of other girls, presumably underage. So we see the girl saying here that she saw her pictures get put into a folder with pictures of other girls, and she knows that he was using those photos for very specific purposes. We then see more very explicit messages sent to this girl. Ouija Pie asks the minor to see her shower, but the minor was uncomfortable, so she had to FaceTime with them in order for her to show it. Also, the minor lied about her age at the very start, saying that she was 15 when in reality she was 12. She told him she lied about her age after she turned 13, but he continued sending nudes to her when he turned 18 and afterwards. You can also see at the bottom here, and I don't want to scroll too far down, but it says, On the left is one of the recovered explicit images that Ouija Pie sent to the 12 or 13-year-old. He also sent her multiple pictures of his face and chest, which again... I don't want to show on YouTube, so I'm not going to scroll down any further. We'll skip this part. Now, in these messages, Ouija Pie is planning to meet up with this 12-year-old, and he's planning out how to go see her, where they can meet, meeting up in a hotel, saying that he'll babysit her. It's, it's really disgusting stuff. He even sends her like a Google map of a hotel that they can meet up at. He has this whole plan where she's going to go there with her dad, and he's going to offer to babysit her while her dad goes out, and it's, it's crazy. This screenshot in particular is especially alarming in the sense that he planned everything out. Him babysitting, quote unquote, the 12 year old being a valid part of his plan to meet up. We also have screenshots of Ouija Pie planning to meet up with victim one and two from the second document that we talked about in the previous video. And here we have a date of when he stopped talking to this girl. So as soon as document two got released, he blocked her and everything. He blocked her and everything, deleted all their messages, and you can see the date is the 18th of February 2024. So that lines up perfectly. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the most damning part of this is Ouija Pie having explicit material containing minors and distributing it. Unfortunately, we do have confirmation that that material that he shared in the second document was in fact real. Now, the girl that was in those videos and pictures came forward and said that yes, that is her, that's the same clothes she was wearing that day, that's to her her outfit, that's all, all real, all happened, uh, and that really is just the nail in the coffin when it comes to this. We also have texts between Ouija Pie and his ex where he says that he has explicit material containing a 12-year-old girl. And we now know that Ouija Pie's first victim was a 12-year-old girl back in 2021. And here we have Ouija Pie openly admitting that he's looking for material of girls around that age. Now, ever since Document 2, Ouija Pie has come forward saying that he wants to put out a statement, but it's been about a month and he has stayed completely silent. He has, though, been commenting on YouTube videos, on Reddit posts, anywhere on the internet that is not his own video, trying to defend himself and the age gap between him and his victims. He has not yet come forward saying anything about the distribution of explicit content of minors, just that the age gap in his mind is not that bad. And at the end of this document, we have a nice bullet pointed summary of all the things that have happened and all the things that are alleged. Now, still, because Ouija Pie has not responded, this is just one side of the story. But with so many people coming forward and so many alleged victims, it does lend some credence to all of this. But I just wanted to get all this information out there. I wish the best for all of the victims and everyone involved in this and hope that everyone can heal. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that because of the small age gap that this was okay? Do you think that the distribution of that type of material is so bad that Ouija Pie should be behind bars? Let me know what you think. That's all for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.